All right, we are finally ready to actually create the mitered shirt vent. In the last segment, we did a French seam uh, along this side, and that French seam has been clipped right into the stitching line right here, um, which allows our little vent pieces to fold to fold back. And you'll probably notice here that my my back vent is a little bit longer than the front vent. That's just a design feature that I like. It's the sort of thing that you would see on a polo shirt. Um, anyway, the next step is probably not going to be particularly popular with a lot of people, but it's important to stay stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around your shirt bottom. And this will make pressing that little quarter of an inch seam very crisp. And it takes a little bit of time. I know people hate stay stitching, but you will see that in this case, it is really helpful and it will just improve the looks of your final garment. So I'm gonna take this to the machine. I'm gonna do my stay stitching and we will continue. Okay, we're back at the ironing board, and the next step, now that all the stay stitching is done, is to just fold back along the edge of stay stitching and give this a good press all the way around. And you will find that um, you will get a nice crisp edge all along that line of stay stitching. It makes this, makes this part so much easier. So I'm gonna work my way all the way around uh, and then we'll come back and move to the next step. If you recall, way back when we started this, the, the hem was going to be one inch and the vent was going to be three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press up the hem at one inch here. give it some steam and then the vent is going to get folded back three quarters let's just see just like that all right in the next step you just need two pins and the first pin you will place along the along the line of the hem and you're going to pin into the fold of the vent just like that and the other pin will go along the line of the vent but you are going to pin into the fold of the hem let's see if i can like that. Now it's a matter of opening this out. Oop, we caught a thread here. Let's, there we go. And using a straight edge and lining up those pins, you will see that this line is going to cross right at the right at the corner of your vent. So I'm just going to take a bit of chalk and I'm going to mark this line from pin to pin. There we go. In the next step, you're going to turn this over so that the right sides are together. And and you're going to line up the pins so that they cross right here. And you're going to get this kind of funny looking thing here, but don't 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 worry about it. And I am going to take a pin 
and just pin these two layers together. Because in the next step, I am going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew across this the line that I've marked, um, back stitching at both ends. You'll see that you're going to be, the way this works out, you're going to be sewing along the line on the back as well. And then I'm going to sew this and I will be back and we will uh, see our final bend. Okay, we're back. I've stitched across the line that we marked. Um, in this next step, I just like to trim this seam down to about a quarter of an inch. And we'll kind of trim this little corner at an angle. I also like to get rid of these little tags here. These are just things that add more bulk. So this is all the stuff that we've gotten rid of in the in the corner of our vent and it just contributes to so much bulk. Um, if you have a point press, this is a, a nice time to use it. You can you can slide this over your point press and press this little seam open. a little bamboo point turner and you can just use it to turn this out and our mitered our mitered corner is taking shape here Give it a little press. You'll see that this is we have a nice flexible point here. Um, up at the top of the vent, um, I would fold this the in this in at about a forty five degree angle, and then fold it back. You can use like a little fabric glue here to hold that in place if you have it. Um, and now it's now it's a matter of, of edge stitching um, all, all around uh, the edges. And you could pin this into place. Um, you could also baste it into place if you just uh, need more control. Once all once all of these have been made, you'll notice that you you still have a raw edge up here, and I, at that point, would pull out my Janome machine that does a zigzag, and I would uh, do like a bar tack across there to prevent any fraying. Um, so essentially, this is how to make a a mitered shirt vent. I hope you've seen how really easy this is to do and I think it can just take your sewing to a new level. I wish you happy sewing and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Bye bye.